Hey, happy campers. Welcome to Ask Evelyn Live, where we answer your questions about recycling, compost, garbage, and other trashy topics. I'm your host, Becca Fong, and this week's episode is Leave No Trace. How do you deal with all of your camping gear? Questions, including this fantastic one that came to you guys to came from you guys to us this week. So camping season is starting. So we are super excited to bring you this episode this week with this fantastic question. All right. Hey, Pat. Hey, Becca. How you doing? I'm doing great. We're getting our camp vibe on, right? I see that. I see your camp vibe. That's good. You got a good thing going there. Hey, I got the question all keyed up. I'm Pat, everybody. I'm here to here to talk about recycling and composting and uh, reducing waste as usual. So I'm happy to be here. Thanks. Awesome. Okay. Right. Hit, me, hit me with that question, Pat. Let's go. All right, let's do it. So the question is to our Ask Evelyn inbox, which is awesome to hear from folks in the Ask Evelyn inbox. Uh, she writes, I pulled out my camping gear to get ready for summer, and I have some things that I want to get rid of, but I don't know what to do with them. I have a ripped tent, empty cast, uh, gas canisters, an old sleeping bag, and some citronella candles. Can any of this be recycled or da- donated or reused? Thanks, Tiana. So, Becca, what's the quick answer on all that? So Tiana, I wish there was a quick answer. We love giving those, but really what it is, is when in doubt, find out. There are a lot of options because you got a lot of different materials in there. So none of it goes in your recycle cart, though some of it can be recycled. So we are here to solve your finding out. So Pat, let's get started. So let's take everything kind of one thing at a time. What can be recycled? Well, within that group of things that she mentions, Recycled, like you say, it doesn't go in the blue cart, but the gas canisters are an accepted, collected, special item uh, that we do provide services for, uh, which is not to be confused with the propane tank. That's a larger yeah. unit. But the gas canisters, one can go online and request collection service for that via the SPU online portal. Totally. This is a new service that we just added. It's five bucks and we'll take four of these. For five bucks, you go to seattle.gov slash special items, and we will pick it up for recycling. The reason you cannot put these into the cart is because one, they're pressurized and they're full of flammable material. Right. You know, we cannot have those in your, in our compost, in our recycle carts. It's a complete hazard if they get compacted in the truck, if they get crushed at the MRF. And, but this steel is totally recyclable. So special item pickup on these babies for sure. All right. And then, We've got kind of the fabric gear. That's another thing to think about, right? Like when you've got all these different things, you're like, all right, what do we right. have? So we've got a sleep, we've got sleeping bags. I've got an old sleeping bag here myself. Yes. Nice. So, you know, it's always good. We always talk about reuse, right? If possible. So some really good options are to donate these. Um, there's a couple of options donating them for reuse. So there are quite a few outdoor organizations. Pat, you were telling me about a couple that are out there. Um, I know the Mountaineers will take gear. Things are shifting because of COVID, but definitely hit those folks up and see if they're taking gear. And it's awesome because they can, you know, Mountaineers has a gear library that they offer to folks who want to get outside, but maybe don't have access to this stuff. Um, Yeah. And And the company set up just... The companies that sell, you know, the high-end gear, the really fancy stuff, and just the really quality stuff like REI and such, uh, there's other companies that are set up to, if, if you're just done using that kind of camp gear yeah. and you're ready to part with it and it's still got a lot of life left in it, a lot of camping trips left in it, then you want to, you know, look up one of those uh, independent outfits. And you can just Google, you can just look for uh, use Camping Gear Seattle and all the local companies will come up and you can you know, you either can sign, get rid of your stuff there or donate it to them, or you can shop there as well, of course. So it's, yeah. it's a great resource. A lot of good companies in the area. I know, I know for me personally, I have purchased from many of those uh, small local mm-hmm. shops that sell used gear because it was new to me and perfectly used, you know, great price. I'm always in for that. Um, and, you know, why not? So sometimes people are just getting bigger gear, newer gear, all of that stuff. But say your tent's got like more rips than you can handle or your sleeping bag is just not as warm as it used to be. Um, We have a really great program, Thread Cycle. We've talked about it on the program before and all of our thrifts, all of our thrift stores. So Goodwill, Value Village, uh, St. Vinny's, they all participate in the Thread Cycle program. So as long as it's not, what is it? It's stained, soiled, Soiled, 
you know, moldy, any of that, any, any wet product they're not going to want. So let, right. take care of it first a little bit. If you can wash it and dry it, great. But if you can just make sure it's dry and clean-ish, then they'll take it. Uh, they'll take those fibers, those those different textile fibers, oh, and they this. they combine them into a commodity and they and they market them. You know, they'll they'll find homes for that in insulation or other fillers or things. Right. So. Um, it's really, it's good to have your textile waste or, you know, discards go through a thrift store so that it can be recycled in some manner. Absolutely. So those are some good options. The other thing, Tiana, you asked about was candles. So those citronella candles, people do love those. Burn it all the way down. Like this one's got a little life right. left in it. But if you've got like burn some of those down. big canisters, yeah, burn it down. <laughs> like I, I'm constantly getting eaten by bugs. And so I want all that citronella goodness as long as it'll last. And if um, you like start pushing in the sides, you know, the wick will last longer. The wick has a life, but for this is for any candle, citronella included. Right. But if, you got to like manage your candles if you want to get full life out of them because it's true. it'll burn down to the bottom and there'll be like a shell of a candle left. But you got to <laughs> like lean those little wax sides in every now and then to kind of build the pool up. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, it's like a fun thing to do, you know? <laughs> totally. I mean, you're camping, right? That's the whole point. Um, yeah. But make sure that these never, candles never go in your compost. It's always no. tempting for some no. folks. They're like, it feels like a natural material, but if you are completely done, um, it needs to go in the garbage once you're done yeah. with that. Yeah. So, you know, Tiana, really great question. And I'm stoked that you're getting ready for camping. And I hope all of you who are watching are getting ready and going through your gear. It's really exciting. It's supposed to be really warm. People are getting outside, which is so lovely. So quick review, if you've got uh, stuff that is still usable, like your tents or your sleeping bags, if they're still in usable condition, please try to donate them. That's uh, right. Pat, you often talk about person to person too, if you feel like you can't sign it. It's good enough that you maybe don't want to donate it to be thread cycled. Right. Um, you can certainly hop on Buy Nothing, Facebook, because it's mm -hmm. a lot easier to do a person to person exchange. And they're still going to get a lot of life out of that material. Especially too. when you know it's still got life in it. You know, it's a good product. It worked well for you. It may be a little beat up or banged up or something. At a thrift store, they may or may not put it on the floor for resale. You know, you just not, you can't right. be sure. So if it's some product like that or an item like that, that, that uh, has a lot of camp, camp weekends left in it, then post it on, on one of those sites and, and see if you can find a one-to-one -one owner transfer. Yep. Someone's going to snap that up. Absolutely. Right. And then, of course, don't forget about a lot of these camp canisters. You guys are going to be going through these for sure this summer. Take advantage of our special item pickup. It's five bucks. You go online, seattle.gov slash special items. We'll come and get, a, get them at your house. If you do live in a multifamily property, you're going to have to talk to your property manager because they're the ones that can set that up. So, all right, folks. Uh, one quick reminder. Next week, we are doing our very first AMA, which is Ask Me Anything. Right. So, uh, well, within reason. Okay. <laughs> so feel free. We hope that you guys will all join us and either, you know, come with your questions and just like rando stuff that you've been thinking about but haven't gotten to send us a note about just log on and we're going to be answering them live. So keep them coming. We love to hear from you. The weirder, the better, because you are definitely not the only person who is wanting to know what to do with that thing. So it's great. I look forward to it. I can't wait for a little more interaction there on the Ask Me Anything uh, show. That'll be fun. Absolutely. All right, folks, we'll stay cool out there. It's supposed to be a little bit warm this weekend. Um, I hope you guys got some good information about what to do with your camping gear as you guys are getting ready. Um, and with that, uh, yep, yeah, we'll see you next week. And I'm Becca Fong. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And remember, life's simpler with less stuff. I'm Pat Kaufman. Stay cool out there. And remember to recycle right. See you later. All right. Bye. See you guys.